<sighs> wow, wow. So, after figuring it out, I closed the Blizzard app, and then I'm still talking to you, and I'm like, no, I didn't. That did not just happen. This man has been waiting for me. Like, uh, okay, but we can play now. So, there's that. Oh, wow. <sighs> That's hilarious. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like my first day playing uh, Blackout and Discord and all that fun stuff. You probably didn't notice. Wow. Wow. This is not actually, this is not real life. It's just not, this does not happen in real life at all. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Yeah. Oh, I ho I fucking hope so. I mean, you know, the internet, the LAN cable just decides, you know what? It's a perfect moment to just slightly pull out just a little bit. <laughs> Let's get in this game before something happens. My GP blows up or something, bro. I, I like, we're not meant to play together, I swear. I guess not, man. It's all good. <laughs> all right. I'm a little worried, dude. I'll restart the game using the battle map. Cool. Uh, okay. Just gonna steal a couple of things. Oh man, that show. It's one of my favorite shows by far. Oh, dude, hands down. I've probably seen every episode like at least like thirty times. I think it's pretty sad. <laughs> I'm happy to admit that I also have seen every episode like 30 times. So, I Even mean. I'm like just chilling, it's almost like on the background. Dude. Yep, yep. Absolutely. Who, dude, like. It's, just, it's one of those shows like you can literally watch every episode like that many times and you can watch it again and find something different about it. Exactly. And it's so brainless. Like if you're just playing zombies or like Blackout oh, yeah, or something, like exactly. it's. Just why not? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like. Show. And it, it's hilarious because it's like there's sometimes there's levels of humor. Like you got to be kind of smart to pick it up, you know. Oh yeah, dude, you got to exactly. You got to have a really open mind. Yeah. Pick it up, put it down. Oh man. Oh, okay. I wish I could get like a Rick voice modulator. I wish I could do that accent really well. I would so fuck with people in public lobbies. Get like a, one of the guys that normally plays with has like a, like he's got a voice modulator on it and he can change it up. Yeah. I have like a sound card I can do that with, but it kind of fucks with my, it makes my mic cut in and out real bad and I use it. Yeah. Kind of sucks because it's like this like really, really nice external sound card that's supposed to amp up footsteps. Yeah. It, it's kind of dated and the headphones I got now are like a lot better, so I Alright, yeah, I had a buddy who could do, um, Herman the Per- or Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. Oh, yeah. So me and him, yeah, we used to have a lot of fun with that. Like, we, it, it's, it's just, just dude, it was so great, because, like, with just random games and stuff, you know, like zombies or whatever, and you're just like, well, hey, little boy, you like some popsicles? <laughs> like, it, they have to have a mic. He'd let me engage and, like, get them to talk so he could be sure they had a mic, you know? 
And it was always better when it, like, not to sound even more pervy, but it was always better when they were, like, 15 and younger because they just get a huge kick out of it and they would communicate back, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it, it was, right. man. Pat, you're a leader, man. I'm the leader. Oh, that's a bad idea. You see, we just went through. You can promote me to leader, whichever you want to do. Absolutely. I don't know how to do it, but I'll figure it out. I should be able to right click my portrait, I think. Uh, for player? No, that's not it. No, it's not working. Okay, hold on a second. Whatever, I can just put on. Yeah, just invite me. I it works. I'll just invite you. Just have no faith that I'll figure it out. I see where this friendship is going. No faith. <laughs> I can't blame you after the last 30 minutes of you being kind and trying to play and help me out and all that happens. Oh, no, you're good, man. Uh, no, I know, it's honestly, just funny. It's just funny, you know? It's, nah, dude, it's just how these games go. Sometimes, man, I totally get it. Nah. Nah, well, honestly, man, I'm like, one of my, like, my best friend, he's normally supposed to, like, like, he texted me earlier tonight because, I mean, I normally work nights at my job, and he just, he's, like... He's like in grad school, so he normally like we're always like up real late. So he's like, "Do we play in blackout all night?" So I'm like, "Yeah, dude, for sure." And like, I've been hitting him up all night, and he's like, "How's that shit?" I'm like, oh, "Fuck, man." But like I said, I mean, just having like somebody to communicate with is just so much better. Like, yeah. I mean, sometimes you luck out and you go, you get in a quad team where people are actually like want to communicate and talk, but it's kind of few and far between. I just get pissed. It's like, yeah. I don't mind like I don't mind like losing or anything like that. I'm not like crazy hot head or anything but it's just like it's like if you just like, have to at least fucking try to communicate like jesus christ well i'll communicate like a motherfucker but i'm not guaranteeing you won't see me do something completely ass backwards retarded at the same time nah, nah, like I, I played one solo game earlier it was one of like the two or three i've played and i started running to the circle in like five ten minutes into this run because i was way out i realized Damn, right where I picked up that gun there was a fucking four wheeler. Why did I not take the four wheeler? But I've always I've already committed to the run, so you know, I stuck with it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean dude. I love the game. I, I aspire to be better. It's just Oh I, it's, it's like I said, it's it's a learning curve once you kinda figure it out. Like it's pretty fun. Yeah. I like the Call so of Duty feel like, too. I mean, you played you said you played PUBG, right? Barely. Like, I started three days ago. I've got probably five hours. So, you could argue I haven't okay, so really I'm gonna played PUBG. Like, I'm going to give you some lowdown of these hints of these games as far as Battle Royale goes. The biggest thing is, you don't want to engage anyone unless you know you can kill them. Okay. Because give, just giving up your position is just bad. Like, I mean, unless you're going to engage someone and kill them, it's not worth just starting opening up once halfway across the map and like, shooting with, like, an AR. Gotcha. It's like a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. You wanna, like your position is way more important than just taking out one dude and his teammate coming fucking you up, really. Right. The biggest thing is like just kind of look where they're at, like tell your teammate where they're at, and then you know if you got like. The biggest thing is too, like if you hear two teams kind of going at it, you kind of want to move into position. Uh, and act like they kind of kill each other, then kind of move in. You're kind of both or low, and then just kind of pick them off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, seems like common sense stuff, but it's not yeah, stuff it's I would think to do off the top of my head right away, you know? Yeah. But I mean, you'll get the hang of it. Um, and then, so trauma kits. Uh, I don't know if you know, but trauma kits, once you, if you pick up a trauma kit, go ahead and use it because it gives you, because your max health is 150, but a trauma kit will give you 200. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not know that. Right on. Yeah, so you get like two extra bonus bars of health. Um, let's see.
Are you still there, bro? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I was messing with my settings for a second. I know and, uh, yeah, I didn't hear you. Getting a bit of lag right now. I might have to re- Ah! I'm finishing this game before I restart. It's like a memory leak or something. I don't know what's going on. You play zombies at all? Um, here and there. Yeah. Uh, the guy I play with, dude, he plays a lot of zombies, man. He's pretty tough at it. I, he, I'm not sure what round he's got to. I mean, I kind of play with him sometimes, but we mostly just play uh, Blackout a lot. Yeah. What's uh, we're this? Gonna go, we're going to go to these houses right here. Gotcha. This is normally, basically where we were last time, but. So jump out right away. Yeah, if you want to insta drop right away, dive straight down until you get to 64, and then kind of stay around. To... Gotcha. Yeah, the biggest thing is just getting the hang of the drop too. Once, like, like I said, when we started playing, man, we had no idea like how to drop, and people would just like kill us every time. So they would get down first, right? And just wreck us pretty much. This is typically our spot right here. We always drop. What's uh, your buddy's name that you always play with? Just out of curiosity. Um, well, his name on here is uh, I think uh, he's pretty tough. We like he was like he's played a lot of like PUBG and stuff too. So I mean that's he's. Like, I just started playing um, played PUBG with him right before. Actually, uh, in the game we were playing um before this came out called a uh, ring of elysium or heard of that dude that game's actually like basically PUBG, so much better it's awesome i've definitely heard of it but i can't like picture it in my head i don't know like dude, it's, uh, when it's i seen it or... it's free to play on steam man that's how we got into it um okay it's free to play and uh it's, it's legit it's basically like PUBG, but it's just it's a little more refined and um like you can have like you have, there's like gliders, um, like a climbing pack type deal, snowboards. It's, it just makes it's like PUBG, but it's so much easier to traverse across the map. You don't. Yeah. It's not like a running simulator. Sometimes like PUBG does. Right. Makes. All right, go ahead and follow me down here. We'll push these points. going on with discord now i'm getting all these random chat messages from like bots i don't know what that's about wow i'm getting some bad lag what is that powering up like a generator or something um i think that over a fracking tower, I can't remember. Alright, I'm going to uh, close Discord because I think that's what's causing my lagging game. That's cool. All these random, like, but it's a good film. I don't even know these people. What are these? Please squeal. What? I can't even close it. Like, every time I click it, it's just, wow. You know, the right, right click it down taskbar. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, but their messages are popping up so fast that I can't right click it. There we go, quit Discord. Took a while, because I had a bunch of messages bought, but like, you know, backed up. So as I'd go to right click it, their new message would open. All right, we're good. Let's see if it still lags. Definitely better, immediately. I know, it must be the Discord overlaying game. That dude's got a lot of armor. 
How many bullets do you take? I got them. Good shit, good shit, man. Ah, but you died, bro. Yeah, dude, he first killed me. Damn. You wanna back yeah, out and just restart? Alright, dude, go for it. Ah, shit. This should be interesting for you to watch. Nah, you good, man. Uh, well, if you don't mind, I mean, you're not gonna be needing nah, this dude. stuff. <laughs> Wait, 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 I did not need no 50 cal stuff. Absolutely not. Does it usually take some of this long to loot one person? Uh, you get the hang out of doing it faster. And while you're looting, you want to kind of be moving a little bit too. Just kind of moving back and forth. Ah, there you can you move. Go. I see. You can yeah, move. Yeah, you want to do that. You never, like... That's like the one thing. Like, I mean, they're just like, dude, it's, it's a learning curve too, man. I've only been playing like these battle royale games for like maybe a couple months. And it's just like, it's such, like some more than others. But I mean, this one, like since you play like zombies and stuff, like you'll, be, you'll catch them pretty quick. But I mean, just the battle royale, like, you gotta be real fast at loot. Uh, like, but it just comes with the plane. Cause, like that was like my buddy that I played with. He's like, he would always just yell at me. He's like, dude, take my too long. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, you basically, like, once, like, you think, you'll know exactly, like, what kind of gun you like, and then what to pick up, and what's bullshit. And right. It's, so, like, some of it's preference, but I mean. You know, being a zombies player, having an exact health of 115 is kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. Insert that evil Morty theme song here. <laughs> it's appropriate. Oh yeah, definitely don't go on the open. Oh my God, there's a helicopter. The of the circle and go, just bail out. Good advice. Question is, how hard is it to drive one of these? Uh, space bar. There you go. Space bar gives you rise. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that lag's definitely gone. So go to the middle? Uh, yeah, I'd probably just go pretty close to the middle and find a house to kind of hold up in. That's uh, a bad yeah. There's a dude in that roof down there. Sounds like it's upstairs to the left. Yep, I think so. Uh, I don't hear him anymore. Doesn't mean he's not here, but... Doesn't, yeah, he can crash around if that's now. Is that that? there and loot that dude's body. See if can optics like uh, What dude's body? I didn't see it. Uh, I feel like I did see it, but I lost it. Trophy system, I guess. I don't know. Trophy system is pretty good in game. Oh yeah! Wow, right there in the closet. GG. And he asked you. <laughs> yeah, that whole time that you were right, he was crouching in that spot. He was up there. He was just hiding in a closet. Yeah, I mean that's just. That's great. 
See, the great thing about learning a new game is, like, back in the day, I was a hardcore, like, competitive Call of Duty player, so I would get real mad when stupid shit like that happens, but, like, being new and it's all new experience, it's, like, fun, so. Ah, dude. I got at least a week before I start raging. I used to have a horrible yeah, I temper. I used to rage this game too hard. Me, it is. Unless it's, like, with, like, me, unless it's like with me and my buddy, and, like, you know, like, we're pretty. Unless one says something stupid, but... A lot of the times we just like, I mean, this game, like, there's just so much RNG to it, too, like. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's definitely fun. Oh, for sure, dude. This, this game is real fun. See, when I'm not, uh, when I'm not, like, listen, watching Rick and Morty while I play video games, I'm listening to a podcast called Painkiller Already. And I just, like, you know, I never have game sound on, I never communicate, so I never hear the footsteps, so. I guess it's different, obviously, when you just completely focus on the game, but like I said, man, like, I never used to have any friends who had PCs, so that left me kind of down and out there, but, uh, they all just got, dude, absolutely, they all just got beautiful rigs, like, they dropped, like, 1500 on their stuff, they got, like, the new Ryzen processors, and it's nice stuff, my stuff is way outdated compared to theirs, but I built all their computers, so. Well, dude, the thing is, like, I mean, it's just like, I mean, I got, I mean, I think I dropped about my whole setup together. I think I dropped, like, a little over two on it. Uh, I got, like, an i7, like, and 70, like, 60-some fucking gigs of RAM. Like, wow. And, uh, got an Asus Frog monitor, dude. It's, it's pretty, I, I got a brilliant setup, but, I mean, it was after I finished, uh, finished my advanced practice school, and, uh, like, I was at school for, like, I was in, like, a specialty school for, like, three years, and, like, literally, I was doing fucking 60, 70 hours a week at a hospital, mm. so I, like, just didn't have time to do anything, so actually, like, I was finally done there, I about to drop, like, fat cash on the setup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, did. yeah. That's awesome, dude. I miss it. Did you say, are you, like, a nurse practitioner, or, like, a doctor? Yeah, I'm actually a, uh, CRNA, nurse anesthetist. Right on, right on. Yeah, dude. There was a point in my life where I thought maybe that was a career I might take because, you know. Do what? What did you say? There was a point in my life where, like, I thought that was a career I might be interested in because I heard male nurses, you know, they get paid more because they can do more. And, like, I thought about it, I mean, but I never went through yeah, on it. Uh, I mean, not, not that they really get paid anymore. Um, I don't know. Just the, I, I mean, I, I just like the job, man. I mean, like, dude, the best part about it is, like, dude, you work fucking three 12 hour days a week that's it like i work nights and i work i mean now um that i work as a crna i do um it kind of depends on my rotation but right now i do two weeks on two weeks off but they're 24 hour days so we got a guy that landed call. across the street with you oh, shit. yeah oh, see if i would i didn't want to interrupt you let's yeah, just you leave you died right. i didn't want to interrupt you but i could have prevented that death had i said it you know what i'm saying yeah, that's my bad <laughs> Um, but yeah, dude, uh, three 12-hour shifts, that sounds fantastic for me. Dude, it's, it was so cush, man. Well, I mean, now, like, it's just, I mean, I'll go up, like, um, it's me, I work in a team of, like, uh, myself, and, like, typically, how we do it, it's, like, one anesthesiologist per four CRNAs, mm. and, um, basically, I pr- it depends on, like, It's kind of like, um, they come around, like, they kind of delegate cases to us, duty, and then, like, a lot of times, I do basic, pretty basic stuff, like, cholecystectomy, uh, I mean, basic surgical, right. like, crazy high risk or anything like that. Would you ever be comfortable doing something like that? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, the really, like, the, me- um, like, the mechanics are the same, essentially, like, for high-profile cases. I used to work in a, uh, cardiovascular thoracic transplant unit and we did like you know heart transplant kidney transplant stuff like that but that was when i was rn now yeah. I'm a crna um i work at the same hospital but just on different like different cases I, mean, I don't i don't work with like the thoracic patients like yeah. i could but they just don't like they usually have anesthesiologists do like most like a lot of those i mean like heart transplants it's pretty it's like a super high profile case you know yeah i mean like all the 
most of the mechanism are the same, if that makes sense. Like, you know what? Like the meds we give, and, like the induction. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, that makes sense that you say because when you first said that you handled a couple transplants, my first thought was like you were taking it out of a dead body and tra like taking it somewhere like else to be frozen. Seat. Yeah, so I, at first I was like, well, that doesn't seem like that high risk. I mean, the guy's already dead, so you're not you know in control yeah, of someone's well, I mean, yeah, life. I mean, but but those um so like the, our team of surgeons, like the actual uh, the cardiovascular surgeons, like they'll have like one guy that pretty much goes and like harvests the organ. Mm -hmm. It's, it's all the same, like, the guys that transplant the guys that harvest, essentially. Um, yeah. Like, with that, like you said, I mean, they're dead, so it's not like they need to be, like, like under any general anesthesia, you know? Right. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't help. Or it doesn't hurt, but... No, nah, it doesn't hurt, but I mean, like, when they actually do the transplants, it's, it's, uh, typically an anesthesiologist, like, there's, and, like, so, I mean, I live in Indiana. Oh, Indiana so do I, dude. Where, where do you live in Indiana? <laughs> no way, dude. I live in Indy. <laughs> Indy Devon, dude. My best friend in real life. No way. His, funny, yeah, his name's Cody. I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with that dude for a year and a half. Never knew he lived in Demont with me. One day I heard him say, oh, I'm going to see my girlfriend in Demont. I was like, bro, wait, Demont, where? Yeah, what? That's it's great funny. that you live in Indiana, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I live in Indiana. I work at uh, St. Vincent on 86. Okay. Indianapolis. Okay. Florida. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's, uh, like, my best friend from high school, dude, he lives here, too. He lives in West Lafayette. We both uh, got our first degrees from Purdue. Yeah. That's where he's in. He's in uh, grad school right now. Against dude, my ex-girlfriend goes to Purdue. Like, she started it. When, well, we broke up, like, two months ago, so. I mean, yeah. wouldn't be impossible, like, come out there and fucking go out or something, like, hit the bars, but. Oh, for sure, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh, yeah. That'd be but, cool. Uh, dude, that's funny. Demont, I gotta think where Demont's at. I, mean, I know I've been there, but it's, I'm just trying to think. Where's Demont at? Is it like? Uh, off 65, it's past Lafayette by about 45 minutes. Keep heading on 65. You can't miss it. Roseland Demont exit. So wait, is it is it is it north on 65? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, dude, right on. Um, dude, so um, I went to uh, we went to Ben Central High School. You ever know where that's at? Mm mm. No. Um, I mean, we're, it's like, so we're literally, if you get on 65, um, there's an exit, um, on 18, called, like, Fowler, that's literally where we're from. Gotcha. Like, small po podunk ass town, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where that's at, I've been there with my buddy in a semi to pick up his check for work, man, like, I know exactly where that's at. Yeah, dude, that's, dude, born and raised, man. Yep. Podunk, Indiana. Yep. It's funny, dude. Small See, world. Yep. I'll do this. Where are we going? Uh, I'll just go to the same spot. Unless the trans fucking die this time, I'll try not to fucking die. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do it. See, you live in Indiana, you're a Rick and Morty fan. I mean, yep. I, we've got all the proper ingredients for a proper bromance here. I'm seeing it. Dude, that's true, man. You're not lying. <laughs> all right, let's land in the same building here. Good right now. Go start off. There we go. That's a lot of just making it past the drop. Altos. There's another gun over here. It's a sniper. Uh, .338 caliber. I don't think I need those. That's an outlaw. I'm gonna take it. Man. Let's do it. Oh, it shoots with the .338s. Sniper rifle with shotgun. I'd go 
with a snipe, really. Just depends. Yeah, you're probably right. Once upon a time, I used to do comp sniping, so it'll come back. Shotgun, you gotta be too oh, yeah. close, you know? Up close, I mean, I feel like it should be unbeatable. What about the Titan? Uh, Titan, not so much. LMG is broken. Uh, yeah, see. I mean, uh, I don't know. It depends who you talk to. The fucking you rocket launcher right like, here, bro. It's all about him, but... You want this rocket launcher? Uh, nah. What? Well, I mean. Push up. Ooh, we got guys here. Northeast 49. Got hits on him? They're in that barn. Straight from the gate. Uh, yeah, I got two guys on there. Shit. Shit. I'm behind cover. Where they at? Um, they are northeast. These are pushing up on me. This, I hope that don't kill you. Yeah, he's right from the side of the barn, southeast. Ah, uh, they're both there. I got hits on both okay. of them, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah. 28th, man. It doesn't seem like we're in these games very long, but we're getting pretty high scores. Well, I guess it cuts the lobby in half, right? So. Uh, I think it's like. What is it? I think it used to be 88 players, but I think they might have dropped it for duos or something. Yeah, especially like duos. I mean. I don't know. You ever play any Fortnite at all? Um. I do a little bit, man, but I mean, like, dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not great, like, honestly, I mean, just because, like, I don't know, I just kind of picked it up, like, maybe, like, a month or two ago, and, like, I just kind of play it. Right. Yeah, I, you know. I'm the most inconsistent Fortnite player on the planet. I can have these, mo I'm a great builder. I can build a maze around you before you See, can shoot me, that, but I'm bad at aiming. I, I cannot build for shit, man. Like, I've looked up videos and stuff on, like, how to, like, like, uh, just like how you should build and shit. I mean, like that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And my aim is pretty, pretty fucking tits in that game. But I mean, I just like I just don't know how to build and like, oh, it's just you know. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have and a Razor Naga. Fortnite, dude, I'm down. Like, <laughs> I mean, cause, like I mean, don't expect big things out of me. But I mean, my shot's good. But I'm just not like great at um. We'll yeah, I'm see. Pretty good at team mechanics for the most part, but. Yeah. See, having someone to play Fortnite with would probably changed my outlook on that game as well. So I'm I'm down as well, but. You see, being new to this game gives me an excuse to suck ass for a while, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Plus, it's fun, man. I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm getting destroyed, but it's fun. Oh, dude, I mean, dude, it's fun. I, I don't mind. Like, the thing is, to my buddy and I, the way we play this game, you just want to try to get top 10 every time. If you get top 10, you good. Just because yeah. you get 50 points, and that's gonna help you rank up and get your tiers pretty much. Yeah. I got a buddy who plays the hell out of this. He's also a huge zombies player as well. I always put zombies with him. So, uh, you know, one day if you're ever looking for two other people, dude, we're down. He's, he's a chill dude, you know. He's a grinder, though, man. The first week this game was out, he had, like, fifth prestige zombies, fourth prestige multi. It was retarded, man. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I was like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, well, I lost my job. I was like, how did you, how'd you do that? He's like, ah, I quit. How did you quit? I want the story. Like, everybody likes a good quitting story. And he's like, I, I just kind of never showed up and then never called, and here we are. <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, whatever, man. Wow, I just hit the same spot. Yeah, I don't mind it. At least I can get very familiar with that area, so... This is like that's how me and my buddy do, man. Like we literally, I mean, because this shot, this spot, it's it's most of the time it's pretty conservative. Like at least you can drop and get a gun. Like, yeah. That way you don't just drop and just cut like, drop the bat. I've noticed that as well. You got another dude landing across the street, or yeah, and one to uh, the north. Yep. Uh, let's see, we got one straight across the east. Yeah. Go ahead and just get in this building with me here. One to the north as well. I had to grab my hook. No gun yet. Let's grab your gun. Still no gun. Go to the back here. Yeah. Ah, I found one. Just kind of wait and see if this guy does. For a sec. Yeah, I saw two of them land by us. There's one to the north, and then one you said across the street. Yeah, he's in the house across, I believe. 
Yeah. I watched the okay. back. I left that door open. Rookie mistake. I'm guessing he landed about where that white barn is. That's where I saw his yeah, parachute probably. go down. And one dude across the street over there. So I kind of keep an eye over here on the back in case he tries to flank us. Yep. I mean, we're right here on the edge of the circle, so. No, nah. if anything, they might come from behind us moving towards the circle, I'd assume. Exactly. But... Oh, what are those kites do? Yeah, go ahead and grab that. Back to the house. Shit. Uh, definitely should not have taken me that long to do that. Don't judge. Let's kind of push over here to this house. Let me see what's in here real quick. We got... I don't have a second gun, so I'm trying to find anything. Alright. Let's do it. I'm with you. Yep. Hey, man, he looted this place. He bugged out quick. Check the building next to us. Doesn't look like it was even open. Now we got scopes. Push down over here this far. Oh, they got two out here, two out here. Okay, I see him. Alright, let's go ahead and drop back here. Follow me. Oh, you're still getting lit up. Let's fall back in the house. Mighty I'm Heroes. Sure See, I wish I had something for distance right now. I know, man. It'll be kind of... This would be shit. Some meds? Nah, I'm at 63. Got you, got you. You can hear big stuff. Alright, thanks, buddy. Did they destroy your armor or? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a level 2 back in the supply box. Come grab it. How would I tell it to destroy my armor? This, uh. Oh no, it, it must have, because I see you have a bar. I don't have that bar. Yeah, there so. you go. There you go. I'd say, yeah, this game's crazy depending on armor, too. That's one thing. Like, if you have armor and you're going in the final round, like, uh, you gotta get some armor. It's kind of sucks. So, if I lay here, I have a shotgun barrel, but, like, pointed right at that door down there, and they, there's no way they could see me, so. Best, like, worst case, I could just, you know, we'd know they were coming in. We could oh, yeah. dip out the back or something. Alright. Let me mine this bookcase real quick so I can build some walls for us. They're still over there by them silos. Must probably just. I didn't see him flank around back. That's what I would have done if I was them, but. Not what they did. Here, follow me, actually. Let's push. Let's push out this way. 
there's nothing. We need, we need more shit. Just yeah. There's a helicopter. I would be. Yeah. Sure. The hel helicopter's getting shot at from the east over there. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Yeah. I'm way behind you. I'm trying to keep watch over there. I know they're still there. Yeah, you good. I think there's an owl outside my window, or this game has an owl in it, one of the two. I mean, <laughs> the fact that it's daylight in the game, I'm leaning more towards the south side of my window. Uh, backpack. Alright, here, let's go ahead and... Here, follow me, let's go ahead and switch. Rotate. So I hear that term a lot, rotating. What exactly does that mean? Rotate just kind of means, like... You get inside the circle and just kind of almost like pretty much um, as the collapse gets smaller. I mean, you kind of just go around the outer circle. Typically, right. what our kind of, what our strata is like. Like we're gonna rotate up to see how we're just kind of running yeah. around the circle. It's kind of. I hear a vehicle behind us. Literally right. Um, uh, he's going, yeah. Yeah, good. he's at the farm. Never mind. How did I hear him like he was so close that far away? I don't know. Have... Dude, that's his, this game, eh? A lot of people. Shit. Oh, shit, I got killed. I had a grab link hook. Yeah, okay, watch out. Don't go in that room. Don't go in that room. That guy's in there. Who I hit him? Let's try to sneak him through the back, maybe? Yeah. Uh, I don't see him. Where's he at? I got him a couple times. Oh, shit. Oh, grenade! Nah! Uh, no. That was great, though. Like, we I had him so. there. Yeah, I mean, you got him, I got him. That was a well placed grenade. He got me good. He outplayed me there. It's all good. Yeah. So, dude, it, it's all. I mean, it's just a learning curve, like I said. I mean, you'll get banging out of it. Yeah. You ever play? Oh, you said you don't play zombies. I was gonna say you play Black Ops Three zombies, but probably the same answer, right? You're more a multiplayer guy. Yeah, for sure. I didn't play much um, Black Ops Three. I don't think. Dude, I actually did. I took it back. I did. I have two hundred and eighty-four hours on Black Ops Three. All of that was logged the two months before this game came out. 100% of it is zombies. I'm level one multiplayer. Like, <laughs> fifth prestige in uh, zombies, though. <laughs> Highest round on Revelation is like 85. Garage is like 65. Like, just grinding. Christ, man, that's good shit. I will be right back, like, 10 seconds. Yeah, so I've been streaming this whole time, by the way. Like, I'm trying out that whole live streaming thing. Now that I have a PC, they can somewhat do it. Oh, nice. This is going to sound pathetic to someone who built a PC with, two, like, two grand. But uh, I just got a free upgrade from the GTX 750 to the 760 overclock, so I'm kind of a big deal. Nice. <laughs> it's not nice, but it Dude, works. I, uh buddy that I play with and he just bought a new uh, RTX or whatever. Oh, the 2080s? Yeah, he just bought a new one. But the thing is, like, it's the, like I told him, I mean, I, I'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it plays just because first gen, 
at all. You know, people are already, are already having problems. Like, I was reading about them. Like, they're just, they're already. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I think, I don't think that. And I guess it's one of those things that he bought, like, he always drops mad money. He's used to do. Like, he. Once. Yeah, like, and, like, the alien were, like, honeycomb thing. He had, like, I don't know what he had, like, two. I can't remember what they were. Two huge graphics cards in them, but like two years later, I got like a, or a couple years later, I had like a 1070 monitor. You're cutting out pretty yeah. bad. Is your mic threshold turned on or something? Oh, here we go. Is that all better? That's a Turn lot better, down. brother. That's a lot okay. better. Like, dude, it's weird because sometimes, like, like people are like, oh, you're cutting out, and then other times, like, I feel like my mic's not close to my face, and other times they're like, dude, you need back to face, make sure you can breathe in the mic. I never know. Yeah. I have like, I have like a really nice headset too, and like I don't know why I've been having this many problems with it. You have a really nice. I need your advice then. I have a headset. It's not real nice by any means. Maybe fifty bucks. I don't know the name brand, but uh, you, are we dropping firing range again? I'm um, here. You go, dude. You pick a spot, man. Tell you. Uh, I want to go to the Hydro Dam. We're gonna. Okay, let's go to Hydro. We're gonna die immediately, but I remember the trailer. I want to jump off That's that fine. bitch into the water. Nah, we can follow your tactical plan. It's probably not smart to land here and jump straight in the water. But, yeah, I did see that in the trailer. It was a SIG trailer. Let's just get down. Try to get out of course. Oh, man, I got an outlaw. I got a shotty. Alright, let's just try to get inside. Up. What else we got here? Dude, I'm digging this. I'm digging this game a lot. Dude, it's hella fun. Once you get, like, a... Once you kind of get the gameplay down, man, it's, it's hella fun. Well, I mean, I'm doing tech, but what really makes it is, like, the conversation. Like, having someone to, like, vibe with it. Where it's not immediately awkward right away, you know what I'm saying? Like, some oh, people sure. aren't the greatest at carrying on the conversation. Especially at, what is it, 5 in the morning? 5.30. 5 uh, it's 6.30 where I'm at. Yeah. So you're in the future, man. Oh, yeah, it's show, dude. We'll play. That, that, that's a lame joke I used to make to a buddy of mine who used to play in Taiwan. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to be up at like if I, me and him played at noon he would stay up till three, he was a school teacher right so he'd stay up with me playing like DC Universe Online it's a free to play MMO um, That's funny. he'd stay up till like 3 or 4 in the morning his time get an hour of sleep go teach a class get off like both of our sleep schedules were so fucked cause like we became real good friends you know so like we would hang out just hang out sometimes but uh oh, yeah, sure. yeah that was my lame joke to him that, that he was in the future a little bit <laughs> see you in the future man <laughs> Oh man. I can't believe no one else dropped. I'm surprised. Yeah, I should probably start paying more attention. I'm just running around talking. Alright. Is that a. Do I have any? I don't have any. There's a two times up here. What kind of guns are you rocking? Uh, I got a shoddy. Don't know exactly what it is. And. I got two Ramper times. Or yeah, I got my resolution kind of low. The trick, dude, the trick to incepting is you gotta make me think it's my idea. So I'm gonna follow you, okay? <laughs> oh, this is wide open. I'm just yeah. waiting to hear that sniper shot go off. Yep. Oh, man. That happens. Alright, I can spectate you now, right? Yes. Oh, shit. Oh. Now you guys circle around me. I gotta say, your technique for falling was flawless. You dropped down there after you got killed, and I mean, can't complain. Very technical. Yeah, we good. You watch any MMA at all? UFC, MMA, dude, anything like that? Dude, honestly, I used to, um, I used to watch it so much. I actually, when I was at Purdue, man, um, me and actually, the guy that I play with, um, like, dude, he's like my best friend or whatever, dude, he, um, I don't think he still rolls, man, but we used to, um, 
was at Purdue. I was in charge of Muay Thai club, and mm. I used to be a member of uh, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu man. Mm. I used to roll like three times a week, yep. and then do Muay Thai twice a week and bar on Saturdays, man. Like, mm. that was fit as fuck back then. Like, it was so much fun. And we used like, well, me and the dudes from these clubs are in, we always just like get together at like one of the guys' houses and like I'll chip into pay per view and like mm -hmm. get drunk as fuck and like order the reality, man. It was yeah. I mean, that was like back when, uh, like, there were some people watching. Uh, I can't remember why we were watching. That was like back when like Machito was real big. Yeah. Let's see who else we were watching. I, I think. Let's see. Chuck Liddell is still fighting. Oh, so. Like, um, the last one I watched was, uh, obviously Conor McGregor and Khabib. Oh, of course. Dude, that fight was fucking wild as shit, though, man. That it was. was dude. It was funny as shit, I, I thought, man. I've, oh, it was hilarious. I'm a huge Conor fan, dude. I went to Vegas for the Mayweather fight, not, but... My biggest, like, he was too emotional in there. He was rushing too much. And then when Khabib went for that takedown, he landed a light knee, but that light knee wasn't worth Khabib getting a hold of his ankle right away. So, like, yeah, you know, you spent five minutes on your back, you've rolled. You know what that's like. Like, I've, you, I, I was going to counter to that. Like, I, I've done jujitsu, white belt, you know, nothing too serious. I do boxing religiously. And uh, Muay Thai, basic understanding of it. I've never sparred. I've only had a few, like, sparring matches with knees and elbows, but... Yeah, my my. I mean, with us, we'd, uh, I mean, we'd use like sixteens, um, and like you know, uh, knee and shin pads, pretty much. I mean, like when we spar, you know, like, like we were all like we were all like pretty good buddies and stuff. So it was pretty much like. I mean, the, the funny thing is, like, we run this club. Like that was kind of like our big thing. Is it's like you know, we're all here to like learn, right? Have fun, you know, like tap, don't snap. Like you're not like we're all friends here. Like so we kind of like if you had something like a heel hook. Any sort of like, you know, something like that where it just doesn't take like enough, like a little bit of pressure just to snap someone. Right. You know, snap someone's tip. So it's like, dude, it's not like that was kind of how we always did it. Like, it's right. just, you know, like you can go like 80% or whatever, but you know, don't be the guy that. Well, the funny thing is, we always have guys that would come in. Like, that was like, this is like, I don't know, I'd say a good five, six years ago. Like, back when like UFC was like, it's got kind of blown up. Like, you'd get all these guys rolling up in, like, tap-out shirts. And just saying, right, like, affliction. So mm -hmm. but, yeah, like, mm -hmm. just think they're just, like, God, it's like, oh, my God, oh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm just going to come here, and I'm just going to throw this big right hand and just, you know, dude, it was so funny because, like, me, I, like, me, I only weigh, like, 155 pounds. Yeah. Consistent. And, like, the funny thing was, like, like, so for me, like, when we'd roll and stuff, dude, I always fight pretty much, like, on my back. Like, I, I mean, just because, like, my size, man, but no, I... And so I started off doing judo, like, with the geese and stuff, man. And, mm -hmm. like, I liked it and everything. Like, I learned, like, a lot of throws and shit. Right. But, like, um, like, the thing was, like, me, like, I'm just, like, really squirmy. And the thing is, like, someone could just, like, grab the collar of my gi and just get a hold of me. And yeah. I was just kind of fucked. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, nah, dude, fuck this. Like, I want to do some jiu-jitsu, like, where I can, like, actually get away from people. Right. And uh, that's kind of how I landed there, but. There's arguments for both, man. Go ahead. Let's get our plan first. Okay. Sounds good. Drop to my mark right there. We'll try a different spot here. There's arguments for both. You know, the first thing my uh, jiu-jitsu coach taught me, because I was training for an MMA fight at the time, but uh, he told me, you know, like, there's a reason I'm going to teach you sport jiu-jitsu because you're going to be competing on the ground with punches, elbows, so you need to know. Sport jiu-jitsu oh, is different. Our team dropping right with us here. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, is he in that room with you? Yep. Oh, Shit. Oh, you good, dude? I'm, I'm gonna try and juke him out. Son of a bitch. Because, like, he came in, so I, punched me. Ooh, shit. I don't know. I just picked up Semtex and just threw it. Ah, <laughs> uh, no! Ah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Close. That's uh. what sucks. Like the initial drop. Yeah. Oh man. Now we got this. We gotta get a good game in here. Oh man. Yeah, dude, judo like judo was fun. The throws and stuff were like super cool. 
Yeah. I, I was like that. Like, it was it was fun. I mean, because they like they taught you like you know how to slap the mat and just you know do it appropriately. Mm -hmm. But um, that was my thing. I just didn't like the geese just because someone could hold my gi and just fucking but I couldn't get away. Like the like, you know like the gi chokes. Mm -hmm. like, you know, you just like crisscross your arms mm -hmm. and just kind of like use the blades of your wrist to choke someone out. People used to do that shit to me all the time. I'm like this, yeah. is, this is lame. Like yeah. <laughs> I'm just laying on my back here like trying to like you know just transition. I can't I can't even do that because. These guys just like sometimes I get a hold of my gi and just like you know cinch my gi and I'm just done. Absolutely. See, I trained with a lot of wrestlers, a lot of jujitsu guys who were way better than me. But my bread and butter was the boxing. So when they wanted to put on the sparring gloves, that's when I kind of you know I I would never like just beat them to beat them because you know I had trauma is a real thing. But I would kind of let them know like you know th they'd throw their jabs oh, and their yeah, big yeah, right hands. I I slip them, just tap them you know to the solar plexus lightly, just to let you know like you know there's levels here. You got the ground game. Uh, you know, you know, just kind of yeah, like that's a. That's me. Like, it, dude, it's so funny because um, like I, I don't know, like, like I've been just told by like a bunch of different people, like I don't know, just like um, like I said, like I'm like 155, like solid, like I fluctuate from like 150, 150 to 155, like that's just I like my weight just does not change even like no matter how much I eat. But, yeah. Um, like when I, dude, I I was a swimmer in high school, mm. like year round. But, like I never did wrestling. Like it just I just never even thought about. It. Like never really appealed to me. I guess. But then when I got to college, I started like you know working out and shit. And then uh, you know, like uh, then I got involved in like judo or whatever. So then um, I showed up there and just like and like I said, I didn't I knew nothing about anything. You know, I right. just started like we started rolling and stuff. And you know, I guess like all these guys like they came from like you know wrestling backgrounds. They did this. They did that. Like in high school and shit. You know, so they're like always better than me, which I mean, you know, honestly, it wasn't bad at all because it really like just made me better in the long run. Exactly. Like, everyone, like everyone, like when I finally, like I think I did it for like a year, and people were just like, "Oh man, did you like wrestling in high school? Did you just something like, nah, dude, I never did. Like I haven't, I just started doing this a year ago. You know, oh, like dude, you got like the perfect, you know, like body for wrestling. You know, like your your stature and like, uh, like you know, just like I don't know, like kind of like a lower center of gravity, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, it just worked for me like that, dude. I'm just like, just squirmy. Right. But then, uh, yeah, then we'd spar, dude. I, I was, I was really enjoyed sparring. But like I said, man, like we we're like we we're all buddies, so it's like we'd 100. So like they, we had a couple. I have one time. I got this was in judo. We had some dude like I think he like dislocated his knee or something. I can't remember what happened. Like basically, like, a dude like kind of fell over on top of him. I think. And yeah. Hyper extended his leg or something. But yeah. No one really got. And no one like we'd come like. No one's going 100 percent. And even the people that like the guys that would show up, that would like it's so funny because they would like, think they're so hardcore. And like we had this one dude who was like, I mean, he was probably like, 225. Like he was like heavyweight status man. And, like but he was like a big teddy bear. And like you know he was just there to learn and stuff too. And I used to roll with this guy. And it was so it was so much fun just because like, it was like I was rolling with this huge ass dude. Yes. I mean he he couldn't really tap me. You know like he'd always I like to fight for my like. That's just what kind of like made me better. I'd fight for my back, you know. Right. But he could never really tap me. Yep, that's my specialty, dude. Nobody's ever getting mine. And it's funny because like that translates to like real life situations, like it being at Thanksgiving or something in a couple of days. That, you know, my brothers might go for a headlock, but like, it, just that instantly kicks in. I can defend the arms. You know what I mean? It's kind of yeah, they know nothing. Be, like, I know like, barely any. Like, yeah, bar, yeah. Like, half, like, what the fuck doing, Without even trying. Exactly, and for a minute, it's like a superpower that most people don't care about until it matters, yeah. and then it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, you're lucky we're brothers and it's a holiday, because if this were a different situation, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, every now and then that thought pops in my head when, you know, people try to mess around and get rowdy. Alright. Alright, let's do this. We're going to drop the place we've been going. Got this shit. I probably got time for one more after this, and then I gotta, I gotta get up, and do some shit. My girlfriend will be waking up here in a bit, and she leaves for work. Right on, man. Yeah, dude, we'll play some more. Though. I gotta work the next, uh, next two nights. So I, I gotta work. It's my holiday to work, so. Yeah, I got you. I mean, here soon though, dude. I'll get a. Uh, Oh shit, dude. I'm calling audible here. Did I miss it? I did. Nah, it was my fault. I told him we're gonna hit this right here, hit these houses. That was, I fucked that up. Hey. 
Yeah. You what? Yeah, no problem. I keep forgetting how late it is. <laughs> That's the bad thing about these headsets. Like, the game volume's in my ears so loud, I don't realize how loud I'm talking into the microphone. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't have nothing yet. Right here, I'm calling. Oh, yeah, I have no weapons, man. I don't know. That's all on you, buddy. <laughs> I'll juke my way to the top ten if I can. I mean, Morty, Morty, wake up. You gotta come with me. You gotta come with me, Morty. Feel for it, Morty. That's the moment I knew I'd love that show as the first 10 seconds when he busts in drunk. I had, I had, I had to make a bomb, Morty. I had to make a bomb. There's the ATV right here. Yep. Just a, you got a whole fresh start. Just a whole fresh start. It's like, this is probably, this is probably too loud, right? We don't want that attention. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. Alright. Some people, some people can pull it off, but... Not, right not the guy with no guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As Sherlock Holmes would say, it's so overt, it's covert. I don't know if you've seen those movies with Robert Downey Jr. and them, dude. I love those movies. Oh, yeah, dude. I got level one armor right here, snake this shit. Okay, let's roll. I haven't seen the zombies yet. I'd like to drop at a zombies location. I've heard there's like boss fights or something sometimes. Um, okay, so I've heard that too here. Let's hop before there actually. Um So I know a couple places, like I guess so if you see those look like, straight ahead, that big blue beam right there. That's the box, right? The mystery uh, box? No, 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 that big blue beam, that's a zombie uh on. Uh if you see a big red beam that's um it's a, but it's a special um it's like a big one i guess that's like the boss you're talking about i can't remember what it's called uh blight father yep there it is blight father yep i haven't seen that um i only saw the red beam once i didn't even i didn't even go to it i mean because like i was my buddy like we really didn't know much about it yet Barricade. Take that. Oh, there's an a K in or up here. Good thing I grabbed that bad boy.
think there's anybody down there at those houses? 31? Huh? Push them. All them windows are busted out, so. Paranoia? I don't know what that is. It's part. Um, so paranoia is just gonna give you like an audible alert if someone's targeting you. Oh really? Maybe I want that. <laughs> what do I have? Dead silence. Bra I can give it a brawler. Yeah, it's a brawler's trash. Yeah, I don't plan on punching anybody. Just kind of chill here. See ya. Razor wire. I'll get rid of the barricade for razor, yeah, razor wire. Right. Barricade better. What's up, barricade? Yeah, barricade's pretty good. Um, like in in game, like when you're in small circles, like no cover, you just have a barricade. Okay. Well. I got you. Do it, sir. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah. So we're good. We're like right in, the, not in the middle, but. Good enough. Push back. That's the same thing. Another barricade. Shots. Uh, oh, 330. So guys, ooh, I see a guy, uh, 358, 359. Just kind of, I wouldn't throw any shots out yet, just too far away for us to really get a. I'm watching east. I feel like they could be coming from Rivertown. Yeah, I think Rivertown. Seen much of anything at the moment. Yeah, you were talking about headphones. Um, you said you stream. Yeah, I, I've been messing around with it the last couple of days. I was gonna say, um, I have a pair of uh, Astros. I mean, they're or I think I pay. They're pretty pricey, but I mean, they're. They're like streaming headphones. Yeah. Like they're pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. A little out of my pay grade at the moment. Yeah. But. Oh, I do. I, I get it, man. Trust me, dude. I mean, aren't they like 350 bucks? Something like that? Uh, for a I cheap one? I got the ones for 300, but there's, I think there was like another step up, but I mean, I don't really stream. So, I mean, I. But yeah, these are definitely, I mean, I'm in a good pair of headphones, like hear footsteps and audio. Like, yeah. Paramount in these games, really. I mean, like that's. Oh, absolutely. See, I hear things great, but you know, it could be halfway across the map. So, like, I'm not real good at pinpointing. Like, the thing is, like, a lot of this this game's been getting a lot of flack from people, as far as like, because you can hear your own footsteps. Yeah. Your partner's footsteps. So it's kind of like sometimes, like, even like when my buddy and I are playing, we're both like, we'll both be like, here, stop moving, stop moving. That way, we can tell if it's actually someone else or. Right. They'll yeah. probably be fixing some of that, I'd imagine, because they've gotten a lot of complaints. I mean, yeah, I could see how it could be annoying, but at the same time, it, it's kind of realistic, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, oh, yeah, it's nice sure. to have that element. Like, oh, hold up, hold up, don't move, you know, like a... Exactly. Well, I mean, it's just like a lot of times um, I hear on footsteps are just so loud that they almost like overshadow. Yeah. I had that problem with uh, PUBG for the, like, six hours that I played it. I would be moving and, like, I'd slow down even more because, you know, like I said, I'd listen to stuff in the background, so I wasn't thinking, like, oh, those that's my footsteps. To me, it was someone's crawling in the grass near me, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Did I just see somebody over there? I am an RNG guy. Here, nine. People are definitely... I think I heard somebody. Or that's you, like we just said. I can see exactly. So we're on a we're in a pretty good spot right here. So I mean you go to school at all or? Yeah, I, I was going for graphics design for a while, video editing, oh, all that man. stuff. I do a lot of like UFC promos. Nice. You know, a lot of, some freelance work. Like I said, I, I also like you know build computers and shit like that on the side. Yeah, for sure, dude. Good for you, man. That's uh, that's what I started off in. I was at Purdue, but so my big thing with that was, dude, I'm not an artist. Like I'm good with computers and shit, but I mean. I didn't want to do IT, and like, I really liked Autodesk, uh, Autodesk Viz, mm -hmm. um, like a lot of stuff like that, but I mean, the thing is, like, dude, when I was at Purdue, like, oh, dude, like, the first couple classes like, I started off in, like, dude, these guys, like, I did, like, a year of, um, like, basically, you start, like, you know, basic, your basic classes, like, I had a couple, I can do, like, Visual Basic, C++, and, like, C Sharp programming from what, like, I remember, like, bits and pieces, though, but, you know, I work in the medical field now, so it's yeah. kind of rain as shit, really, but, I mean, like, my thing was, like, that just put the nail in the coffin for me. These guys were just, like, crazy good artists. Like, they could just pick up, like, a blank sheet of paper and, you know, just, uh, like, be amazing at drawing. Yeah. I, I don't have, like, I'm not, like, I'm not creative, but I just don't have, like, that, that type of, like, artistic bone that they do and like that just like just like separates you know yeah like a lot of pro i mean even like um a couple of my buddies from high school like they uh they actually went through and like got degrees in graphic in like uh guy in graphic design and stuff and they like um like, i watched some of the prod like the, their final products they did and it's just like i mean there's it's it's pretty awesome but i mean one of my guys, he graduated like top five in our high school class. Like, pretty really smart kid, you know. And um, like his, uh, I was talking like we swam together in high school, so you know we talked a lot. And uh, he was telling me he's like, when you go to apply for jobs like that, he goes, it's just crazy because like, you know, like a normal job, like like okay, like you know, who have you worked for? You know, what are your references? What's your experience? Mm -hmm. They just ask you. They'll ask for projects. He goes, let's see, it's like let's see your portfolio. Like, what are some of the projects you've done? Right. And he goes. He goes, like, he goes, that's what's, like, crazy, because you can have a kid that, like, hey, like, they, it's not necessarily grades, essentially. Like, they want to see what you can do. He goes, so you can have a kid, so they'll take kids that, like, I have never even went to college or whatever, but, like. So me, I never know, finished it, probably, but, you know. It's crazy, and, like, they can just, like, pick up, like, they've just taught themselves Autodesk yep. or whatever, and they're just crazy good at it. Like, yep. it's not like you need to be, like, really smart like have like a good knowledge base if you can like put some to paper like that like so yeah you're pretty fucking i'm charity. completely self-taught like everything i ever learned was because i was interested exactly. i used to watch i'm more like visual effects like you know if someone can draw i'm not a great artist but somebody like my ex drew me some sick like graffiti text so my first thing i used the pen tool you know traced it put it in cinema 4d made it 3d we got a sensor on us. we got a sensor on us. what's that do exactly yeah, that beeping through that's that circle I threw up earlier. We were able to see where they're at. All right, just be ready. Let's push back. Gotcha. Shit, just be ready. Hey, over there. Got yeah, guys, uh, 163 shooting us. Gotcha. I blew up a sensor dart. Threw up a fucking another one. Damn. Ooh, guy straight, uh, he's in the building, they're rushing me. Oh, man. Ah, uh, I got hits on one of them. 
I have no meds. Okay, so they're upstairs. Ah, uh, eleven, dude. Eleven. Oh, we got eight. All right, yeah, I'm down for that. Right on. There you go, man. That's fifty points right there. Absolutely. I don't know what that means, but I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, man. Well, hey, dude, that's it for me, though. I gotta take off for now. But, right. yeah, dude, we'll, uh, we'll play for, uh, play some more next time for sure, man. For sure, dude. I had a lot of fun. Thanks. Yeah, dude. No problem, man. No problem. Like I said, it just takes time to get used to. But yeah. Yeah. If you ever see me on, man, I see you on. Do I hit you up? We'll play. For sure, man. For sure. Like I said, I got All another dude. dude who grinds this stuff. Yeah. So. All right, bud. Show, man. All right, take it easy, man. You Peace. too, man. That guy was really cool. Really cool. Alright, well, we're going to end that on a positive note. That dude was real cool, real fun to play with. Good player, too. You know, awesome dude, by the way. Alrighty, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.